micro, baby. Um, yeah. Yes, it's a cat, sweetie. Okay, hold on. Mommy's got to record, okay? Welcome back to the lab, everyone. Today, I'm going to do a dissection tour through the arteries and veins on a cat. All right, so let's start with the arteries in the thoracic cavity. So from the heart, we have the aortic arch. Here is the left subclavian, a little bit different on a cat than it is on a human, which is why it's really important that you study the human torso models, the pictures, and our cat specimens, because not everything is going to be exactly the same. This is the brachiocephalic artery or brachiocephalic trunk. Off of that, we have the left common carotid. We have the, this part is going to go to the right common carotid. And then here, this part, which is kind of hard to see, goes underneath, is going to be the right subclavian artery. Here we go back to the left side. Here in the armpit area, that's where we find the left axillary artery. So left axillary artery and then here within the brachial region we find the left brachial artery. Okay so now we're in the abdominal pelvic cavity so let's start with the arteries. Here we have the aorta Okay, the descending aorta, the abdominal aorta, I've seen several w ways to describe that. So let's start here. This is going to be the celiac trunk. And off the celiac trunk, we're going to have the hepatic artery, the gastric artery, and then the splenic artery. So again, celiac trunk, hepatic artery, left gastric artery, splenic artery. This vessel right here is the superior mesenteric artery. Then we have the left renal artery. Of course, on the other side, we would have the right renal artery. And then this is the inferior mesenteric artery. As we continue on, we come to the iliac vessels, but I wanna zoom in before we talk about those. All right, so we're zoomed in. So let's take a look at the iliac arteries. There's one big difference between cats and humans. And the fact is that cats do not have a common iliac artery. So whereas on a human, we would have the common iliac and then would branch into the external and internal. Here, they both branch off the abdominal aorta. So this vessel right here, remember, anytime we have a fork in the road, you know you're going to have to name that vessel something new. So this is going to be the left external iliac artery. And then this small one down here is going to be the left internal iliac artery. Again, the location tells you a lot about the name, but the external is also a little bit bigger. So left external iliac artery, left internal iliac artery. Over here we have the right external iliac artery and then this would be the right internal iliac artery. When we continue along that external iliac artery, that takes us to the left femoral artery. On this side, it would simply be the right femoral artery. Let's now look at the veins in the thoracic cavity. So here we have the superior vena cava. 
from this Piravena cava, we have the left and the right brachiocephalic veins. Again, a little bit different from the arteries because we just had that one brachiocephalic artery, but here we have two brachiocephalic veins, a left and a right. So let's just focus on the left side. This section right here would be the subclavian vein, the left subclavian vein to be exact. This up here would be the left external jugular. This is the left internal jugular. And this is something that's very interesting. On cats, the external jugular is going to be the larger diameter vessel, meaning it's bigger than the internal. If you look on our uh, human torso models and our diagrams, on a human, the internal is much larger, so it's actually the opposite. Additionally, though, you'll note that the external is more outwards and the internal is more inwards, so the location is also a great indicator of what you're looking at. So again, the left brachiocephalic vein, left subclavian vein, left external jugular, left internal jugular. Going back to that armpit region, that is the left axillary vein, and then we have the left brachial vein. Again, always use your knowledge of anatomical regions to give you a clue as to what you're looking at. All right, so for the veins of the abdominal cavity, here we have the inferior vena cava, we have the uh, left renal vein, the right one is here. And then we will go ahead and zoom in again to the iliac veins. Now let's look at the iliac veins. Here we have our inferior vena cava, and our first fork in the road. So again, remember, a fork in the road means you've got to name it something else. So that means this little section right here is going to be the left common iliac vein. So cats do have a common iliac vein. This is going to be the right common iliac vein. Well, how do I know that's the common? Because if we keep going a little bit farther, we can see, oh, look, another fork in the road. So that common iliac vein is just a real short segment. So here, this would be the left external iliac vein, and this little teeny tiny one will be the left internal iliac vein. So the location also tells you what you're looking at left common iliac vein, left external iliac vein, left internal iliac vein. If we were to follow this left external iliac vein, that would take us to the left femoral vein. Okay, so the last thing I want to address is the hepatic portal circulation. It's very important that you guys understand that because we have all of these abdominal pelvic organs kind of in front of these big vessels, we have to have blood supply. So the hepatic portal circulation describes the venous return and we represent that with yellow dye. Okay, so when you see yellow, just know those are veins, but the reason why they're yellow is because we want to make them different and really allow you to see the hepatic portal circulation specifically. So um, again, make sure you look at the differences between the cats and a human, because it's a little bit different but we'll start up here. This large section right here that feeds into the liver 
That is the hepatic portal vein. If we were to just follow this, this vessel okay, to the other spots, here we have a fork in the road. This vessel right here is going to be the gastrosplenic vein. This right here is going to be the superior mesenteric vein. And then this part over here, this is going to be the inferior mesenteric vein. So again, up here we have the hepatic portal vein. It's just a small section. The gastrosplenic, you can think that goes to the stomach and the spleen. The superior mesenteric is that long main part. And then when it cuts over towards the intestines, towards the large intestine, that's going to be the inferior mesenteric vein. Thank you so much for checking out my video. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and check out my Instagram page, at The Anatomy Gal. See you next time. I know, it's an empty classroom, baby. <laughs> I'm just talking to the camera. People are gonna watch the video, that's everyone. <laughs>